Instagram and uh, Facebook. Let me share an interesting um, <clears throat> story with you. Uh, on the side, I haven't mentioned this too much, but I, I do a little coaching here and there, one-on-one -on -one coaching. So over the weekend, I was having a conversation with one of my coaching students and the conversation circled around wealth and real estate and whatnot and positive mindset. So I was telling this guy, this young man, the importance of being positive and seeing his deals through to close. And, and he responded, you know, Barry, your situation is different because you're successful and because you have money. So you don't have the same problems that, that I have. I'm new and I, and I, you know, I had escrows fall out and I was buying a house and it fell out of escrow and I had another transaction that I was doing and I was depending on that money and it didn't close. So, so, you know, that took me aback for a minute and I, I had to chuckle and I said, young man, young man, young man, I say, I have escrows fall out at least two, three times a month. That's number one. Number two, while you may have 10, 15, 20, and I'm being literal because this is a dollar amount that we were speaking about. You have that at stake and that's what you, that you're risking. I said, I, there's times I have tens of millions of dollars at stake and I get bad news. I get the city on me. I get them wanting to shut down a project. I get these guys having glee in their, in their faces when they show up and say, no, 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 no. You guys shut it down for whatever various reason. But the point is we all have our struggles. We all have things that we have to overcome and it's not about me being more successful and not having any issues or you being new and having issues. The point is we all have issues and at the end of the day, it's not the issues that you have, but it's how you handle the issues that you have. I don't see it as uh, a reason to quit or a reason to say that I'm not gonna make it. I see it as a reason to overcome the challenge. I see it as, as an opportunity to fix something. It's a to-do for me. Oh, okay, the city says that I can't move forward. What's the reason I can't move forward? Oh, we didn't pull a permit in this area. We pulled a permit in that area, but you found this area, so it gets you off to shut down the whole project. Well, guess, okay, I'll fix the problem. Okay, the escrow fell out in the 12th hour. Okay, we've got $10,000 on the line that we're trying to make, or we've got $210,000 that we're trying to make. It's the same thing, just a couple more zeros, but at the end of the day, it's still an issue. It's still an issue if you make it an issue or it's a solution if you make it a solution. So in closing, the point that I made to the young man is you're always going to have issues, but do you want to see them as an issue or do you want to see them as an opportunity to do what you got to do to MTH, baby, make things happen? And that's how you got to look at these things. These challenges are opportunities. These challenges are things to do. These challenges are things that you just got to get done so you can turn that that no into a yes or you can turn that that canceled escrow into a closed escrow. It's all in how you look at it, baby.